I got an inside scoop on a quad for you, my man. So if you are out there, you are out there in Colorado, much like my main man Jake is, and you're trying to get into these cash flow markets, you're trying to to get on the ground in these markets that are cheap, but you're doing so uh, from out of state, right? This is where you need to be to get the info that the locals already have. And Jake, I got an off-market quad for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise. And as mentioned, today, today's show is for my guy, Jake. I fibbed a little bit, Jake. I said you were from Colorado and you're in Colorado, but you're not actually currently in Colorado, right? You actually moved. Uh, you moved here, right? You moved to the region, the Cleveland region, right? You moved here for the cash flow, but you're very, you're very new, right? You're brand new. You need somebody to walk you through the market so you can get that knowledge uh, that a local would have, right? Because you're not a local. Like, I, guess, I mean, technically, I guess you're a local, but, like, you're really not. You know what I'm saying? You're really more of a Colorado guy. You don't know the ins and outs of the neighborhoods, right? So that's what you come to me. You come to Holton Wise because that's what we specialize in doing. And, folks, it don't matter to us if you stay in Colorado. You don't have to come in uh, to Ohio like Jake did. You don't got to uproot your family. No. We have everything set up for you guys to get the inside scoop to get the knowledge that a local will have. Insight I give you here on this show, unlike anything you see, unlike anything a regular turnkey provider will give to you, because I do not typically do turnkey in the traditional sense. Yes, I sell properties I own. Of course, I'm in the business. But my business model is partnering with you, working with you as your advocate, as your broker, as your agent, as your confidant in the area to teach you about these properties. And the properties we find for you are based on your wants, your needs, your goals, and they're from regular sellers. And I battle them on your behalf, right? Regular turnkey provider, they buy, they fix, they sell to you. Well, they're not really on your team. They're not really your advocate, are they? It'd be impossible. Conflict of interest. Every dollar you make is a the dollar they would lose, right? So I saw that uh, didn't line up, so I built this model. And we do property management, maintenance, construction, and insurance, right? So we're here for you. So whether you, Jake, since you did move here, want to take over management because you are local now, cool. If not, you don't have to because we could handle the whole thing. Don't matter if you're here, in Colorado, in California, wherever, right? And what I got for you now, this is cool, man. Off-market deal, right? It's off-market. Why? Because I took it off the market. Yeah, that's what I do. I had another client, found him this deal. He liked it quite a bit. Quad, badass deal, bro. Uh, we checked that thing out, put it under contract. Bidding war. We had to go above list, right? Listed at 275 He put it under contract for $290. It's a badass deal, man. Uh, but he got the inspection back, and uh, it's, he's, it's not in his comfort zone. I think he's a little unfamiliar uh, w with what a 100-year-old property in the Cleveland market is really going to look like. And that's okay. That's okay, man. Uh, every pot has its lid, man. You don't have to, to get out of your comfort zone and buy something you're not comfortable with, folks. Uh, there's many different types of assets to buy. If you're not comfortable with a 100-year-old building after getting a 100-page report, seeing what uh, the ins and outs of a 100-year-old apartment building are really going to look like, I'm not here to try to convince you to buy one, folks. Let's move you to something else that makes more sense, right? We'll get you something different, right? You know what's popping off right now? You know what I'm making a lot of money doing? Airbnb rentals in brand new construction. Brand new construction in Cleveland comes with a 15-year tax abatement, right? New construction. The government kicks in. It's usually like $150,000 of free money, and then we run Airbnb rentals, right? So if you're out there, you're like, yeah, man, screw it. I'd never buy a 100-year-old building. Great. You shouldn't. Let's do some new construction Airbnb, folks. All the options are on the table. I'm here to help you do what you want. But for you, Jake, I think based on your criteria, I think this quad's going to make sense. And uh, before the seller puts it back on the market and lets all those other bidders that were battling us uh, get their teeth into this thing, I have the report for you. I'm going to email it to you with this video. And let me know if you're willing to come in at 290 
and uh, we can scoop this up before all those other bastards get an opportunity to take it away from us. So I'm going to leave you now with that original footage, and you let me know what you want to do. And everybody else, just so you know, I sent Jake this video privately. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one like Jake or my previous client did, uh, in the show notes below, click the link to book a call. My team will talk to you about doing these deals in real time because this video wasn't released on Holton Wise TV publicly for you all until many months after all of the stuff I'm discussing and this current talking to the screen right now has transpired, right? I'm from the past, okay? I'm talking to you now like as a time traveler. Like I'm like that dude in Terminator that ended up like nailing that chick and then he was John Connor's dad, which is crazy because he just got sent there to keep John Connor, who was already alive, from the Terminator killing him. But then he nailed his mom, and then he was actually his dad. So was he dad in the original? It's wild, right? It's kind of like one of those. Anyway, check out the footage. Let's go. Welcome back. Now we get into the maintainers. Woo! Maintainers. Man, the potato is one of versatile food, man. You got french fries, baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, scalloped potatoes, some little cheesy potatoes, hash browns. Can't forget about hash browns, man. I love me some potatoes. Show us nothing to do with potatoes. They'll get back to the game, folks. Focus on real estate. Real estate, not potatoes. Home fries, damn. Anyway, 1376 West 91st Cleveland, 44102. This is a beauty. Now. Says 50 days on the market. That is misleading. It was on the market and then it fell out. Uh, uh, it, it went off the market and then it went under contract and fell out of contract. That's what I was trying to say, right? Seller took it off the market because they were going to sell it to a buyer. Buyer flaked, I guess. I don't know. Financing some issue like that. I don't know. Uh, it's back. It's ready to go. So don't think that it's been on the market 50 days because ain't nobody going to buy it because this is a small deal you gotta do a little work uh have some, some things go your way to get really good numbers on this but this is a freaking awesome deal okay it's four unit apartment building number one okay that is folks my favorite type of investment of all time right just cruising through this here uh it's definitely dated but we'll get into that but the fact that this is a four unit apartment building that should be ground level the most awesome thing for you to hear, okay? Four unit buildings are by far the best buildings in the world to buy, in my opinion, my humble opinion. Who am I? What the hell have I done? Well, I sold $200 million worth of real estate, real estate just like this, run the largest scattered site portfolio in the Cleveland market. So I know a thing or two about real estate, right? Went from having like no money to making some millions in the biz. So, you know, I feel like I know what I'm talking about in this right here. This is the bay's knees, dog. This is, this is sweet, right? The four-unit apartment building is better than the two-unit apartment building. It is better than the three-unit apartment building, right? You're probably like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Not rocket science here, okay? Three is better than two. Four is better than three. Okay, I'm with you, James. The four-unit is better than the five-unit. What? The four-unit is better than the six-unit. The four-unit is better than the seven-unit. And probably the 8, the 9, the 10, the 11, and the 12 unit, right? Why? That don't make sense. I don't understand. If 3 is better than 2, how is 4 better than 3? But well, No, 4 should be better than 3, but how is it better than 5 or 6 or something? You know, people are getting confused at this point in the show, folks. They're getting confused. How is 4 better than 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? Well... Has to do with the financing, folks. Financing is, in my opinion, the number one reason to invest in real estate. Uh, you could buy other stuff. You could invest in other businesses and make money, but you can't get financing like you can in real estate, right? That's what this is for us. It's just an investment vehicle, right? Like You could buy Bitcoin. Ain't nobody giving you a 30-year loan to buy Bitcoin. You can buy NFTs. Ain't nobody giving you a 30-year loan to buy NFTs. Also, what in the fuck are NFTs? I don't even fucking understand that shit. Ah! Also, I don't even really get what Bitcoin is, honestly, either. Like, I mean, I get, like, what's going on, but it makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. You know who invests in Bitcoin? Jerk-offs. Jerk-offs invest in Bitcoin. You know who invests in NFTs? Jerk-offs. Don't be a jerk-off, folks, because nobody really understands that shit. So if you're just investing in something you don't understand, you're a jerk-off. 
What I like to invest in is real stuff. Real buildings. You could you could touch these buildings, right? And the lenders agree with me, okay? Why don't banks give you loans to invest in NFTs, to invest in Bitcoin? Because they're like, yeah, this is, this is volatile. This don't make no sense. But this, this right here, boy, this, this is real. This is tangible. This makes sense. This is safe, okay? Now, the way Fannie and Fetty guidelines work is to get a residential mortgage you can do Single families, duplexes, triplexes, quads, okay? All right? Those are the best loans. 30-year, fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible, only going to need 25% down, okay? Those are the best loans. The biggest property you could ever get is going to be a four-unit apartment building, though. Once you get into five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so forth, you now have to get a commercial loan. Not the end of the world, but you can't get 30-year terms. Commercial loans are nowhere near 30-year terms. They're usually like 25 AM, 5-year call, 10-year call, 15-year call, and don't think you're getting into them with 25% down in 2022. Not the way the market works. Prices are too inflated on apartment buildings right now. So that is not going to help. So with the four unit, you get the very best financing in the world, and Four happens to be the most amount of rent you can get with those 30-year loans. That, folks, is why I love, 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 love the four-unit apartment building over any other building. And also the fact that it makes some sense is why I love it over other investment vehicles such as Bitcoin, NFTs, the, met the metaverse. Shit. What the hell's the metaverse, y'all? I, I don't even know. Okay? So that, that's what I love about the building. As you see, it was dated. Okay? Here's the story. Owner occupied, right? Believe it or not, some people actually live in houses, right? Some people buy houses to live in. They don't just buy them for monetary investment like we do, okay? So this has got a long time owner occupant living in this unit, and then he's just renting stuff super cheap to people for like the last 20 years. It's 550, 475, 375. This is our opportunity to pick up a hell of a deal because this is in one of the most popping neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, folks. This is right here near the lake in Edgewater, okay? This is a super trendy neighborhood, right? You are right smack dab in the middle. Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater, this quad, Lake Erie. When you hear about the resurgence in Cleveland, when you hear about gentrification in Cleveland, when you hear about a lot of money getting pumped into this market, okay, it's the big popular cities. It's your Ohio cities. Well, not popular cities, popular neighborhoods. It's your Ohio cities. Over here, a little bit more is Tremont. It's downtown, okay? It's Detroit Shoreway. It's Edgewater. We're right freaking there, people. This is where we want to be, and we will be rewarded for that, okay? Because the market rents on this, this is not a professional landlord. This is someone who lives there, and it's just my renting stuff for 20 years. The way to do this actually get market rent on all these units we're looking at 900 a unit folks 3600 comes in 43200 for the year of that 43200 for the year my team we will professionally manage it here is all your fixed and variable expense estimates after all is said and done you should be walking away clear with almost 25k for the year now as far as price again don't be confused thinking that there's not a lot of demand for this because of the long days on the market. The thing just fell out of contract. We got to go full price. You got to take this down. Whenever there's a quad, you got to take it down. Whenever there's a quad in such a good neighborhood, you got to take it down. Whenever there's a quad in a neighborhood where you have the ability to push everything up, you got to take it down. 275, okay? Then we get that beautiful 30-year loan I kept talking to you about. All you got to do is put down 68750 Bank kicks in the rest. Get all those tenants up to market rent without a turnover. You're looking at a long term. Cash on cash return of 20%. Now, can you get those super long-term uh, low-rent tenants up to 900? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, what you don't want to do is immediately change their rent to 900 because you probably get more uh, than what you need to moving out. Right? You're going to get, you're going to get in this business. You're going to get turnover. It's part of the game. It happens. No way to avoid turnover. You're going to get turnover as a real, uh, real estate investor. You're going to get turnover as a landlord. What you don't want is to create artificial turnover, which requires you to pay money out of your pocket. So what I like to do is I like to slowly increase their rents 
try to get them to stay as long as possible to get as close to market rent, let the, the neighborhood draw them in. And then if they move out, then we go in, we'll give you a bid to renovate the units, right? Those units were pretty dated, so we're probably looking at over five grand per unit at least. Uh, but we'll have to go through that when the tenants actually move out. But long term, this one is a smoking deal. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.